is July 4th, 2021, and we were supposed to be up in Strasbourg today seeing 611 and riding it, but due to 611 having a mechanical issue, we were not able to do that. So instead, we'd come down to see New Hope and Ivalon 40 and New Hope and Ivalon 8218 run excursions on the New Hope branch. Here comes New Hope and Ivalon 40 up the grade on its way back into New Hope. Seven after twelve now, and GP9U 8218 would round the corner as it approached the crossing on its way to Alaska. to see 8218 run around its train to head back to New Hope. was originally built as high GP9 8678 in 1957 by EMD for the Canadian Pacific Railroad. It went under a rebuild becoming GP9U 8218 with its hood chopped off and painted in the newest Canadian Pacific paint scheme. In 2011 it was purchased by the Pennsylvania Northeastern Railroad and then sold to the New Hope and Ivyland where it runs today. <laughs>
218 now departing Lahaska Station on its way to Newham. tripod mount did not want to go into my tripod so I was going to have to hold it on my tripod for this shot. Sorry about it being shaky. <laughs> comes New Hope 40 as it charges up the hill into Lahaska. New Hope 40 now disconnected from its train, leaving the caboose on the front so the conductor can blow the air whistle as they shove the train up the line. As they, When they come back, they will have tender forward as they return back to New Hope. I'm not exactly sure where they went. I think I forget. Remember, this is July 4th. I'm editing this on 10-25-21. But here we go. Now tied on is now ready to shove up the line and it'll come back later.
218 now crests over the hill and is coming into Lahaska to switch around his train like before. <laughs> AD-218 is now ready to switch around its train and to pick it from the other side and then depart back towards New Hope. Engineer of 8218 got out of the cab to come meet with his little young rail fan. This probably just made his day. Two blasts of the horn, they're off, and back on their way to New Hope. As you can see by the clouds, the sky was about to open up, and in a few minutes, that would happen. After hearing the distant whistle of 40, I would turn on my camera, but it was still at least 20 minutes out since it was going very slow. And here represents a midsummer thunder shower.
microphone and the camera was a little bit waterlogged. The rain had slowed down at this point, and here comes 40 through Lahaska. almost 4 o'clock, we decided to head home. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Oh.